Hey guys, I'm Derek, and if you're building a blockchain application today, you absolutely need to watch this video. I'm here to explain to you what Alchemy is, why everybody in Web3 uses it, and how it massively supercharges your blockchain app development. Let's get started. In a nutshell, Alchemy allows you, a blockchain dApp, to interact with the blockchain with zero overhead. It makes the process of communicating with the blockchain painless, and it allows you to scale your application to billions of users without changing a single thing about how you interface with the blockchain. So how does Alchemy do that? Before we dive in, let's just do a quick recap. DApp developers communicate with the rest of the network via nodes in the blockchain, right? If you're requesting the latest block number, if you're sending a transaction, or if you're tracking wallet NFTs, you're all sending requests to a blockchain node. However, you don't really want to run a node yourself. That's a lot of extra effort, like running your own server to launch a web app. For instance, you won't be able to scale your traffic easily. If you need to increase your traffic, you have to deploy a new node. And it turns out, even for large companies, running your own nodes is an unenviable task. So in the same way that new tech companies use AWS to manage their servers, basically every successful Rug3 organization is using a blockchain development platform to handle the most critical part of their infrastructure. Let's see how this works. When a user opens OpenSea or DYDX, these organizations don't talk to the blockchain directly. They send their request via JSON RPC to Alchemy, which sends the request to the rest of the blockchain. Once a response comes back, Alchemy returns the responses to OpenSea or DYDX. Here's an even bigger fact that you might not know. Everybody in Web3 uses Alchemy already, from consumers to miners to developers. I'm being serious here. You've almost definitely made an Alchemy request in your life already. And here's some stats to back that up. 60% of Ethereum users have been estimated to use products powered by Alchemy. We formed the infrastructure behind 70% of the top Ethereum applications. Aave, DYDX, even Adobe and Meta use us. On top of that, every single major NFT marketplace, Super Rare, Dapper, Maker's Place, they all send their traffic through us. So that begs the question, why does everybody use Alchemy? It all comes down to app health, making sure that your dApp is functioning properly no matter what the situation is. First, Alchemy has best-in-class scalability. Say you want to do a big NFT drop. That means you'll get tens of thousands of requests in under a few seconds, basically DDoSing your fragile infrastructure. You don't need to worry about this with Alchemy. You can send us 10 requests or 10 million. We've got it handled. Secondly, Alchemy's reliability is legendary. We've got over 99% uptime, which is the best in class, and that's because of an insanely complicated architecture that we run called Supernode that intelligently caches queries, it handles upgrades, and it handles bursts of requests smoothly. If you're a DeFi exchange, a few minutes of downtime can literally cost you millions of dollars, so don't let this happen to you. One more aspect of app health that often gets overlooked, it's actually surprisingly hard to get a correct, consistent picture of the state of a blockchain. As thousands of nodes are trying to synchronize on the latest information, individual nodes and even node providers will see reorganizations of recent blocks, which leads to consistency issues for the users. Unlike other platforms you can use today, Alchemy has zero consistency issues. And you can even test it yourself using a link below. And finally, we've got the best support team in the business. Our engineers are available 24-7 to debug and solve issues with you. We've got a 98% customer satisfaction score. And our bread and butter is making sure that our developers stay asleep at night and offline. Okay, so how do I start using Alchemy? It's actually insanely easy. This is actually the shortest section by far. It's just two lines of code to connect your entire infrastructure to Alchemy. One, you install the Alchemy Web3.js package. And two, you can connect it to an Alchemy API endpoint that you can set up on our website. Then you can immediately start requesting information from nodes on the blockchain. You can see here that using the Web3 object, we can easily check the latest block number and print it using only a couple more lines. And if you're already using another node provider, you can just swap out the endpoint to our Alchemy API and it'll work immediately. There's no setup required and you don't even need the Alchemy Web3.js package. So if you're having issues with any of these things, debugging your users' failing requests, tracking pending transactions, real-time alerts on address activity, retrieving NFTs for a wallet, all of these different problems, we can help make it easier and more streamlined for you to solve by simplifying the process for you to acquire this information and to track this information as a developer. Here's an example. When you make requests to a blockchain or an endpoint with errors yourself, it's easy to debug those issues, right? You can just go look at those errors. However, what do you do when your users are making bad requests in production? Then you have to go ahead and build yourself an extensive logging and a tracking system, right? Wrong. Alchemy's dashboard gives you all the insight that you need to look into your requests. 
Let's look at the Alchemy dashboard for one of our customers and see how they're collecting detailed stats on the health of the traffic that they're sending through our platform. Say you're sending a request through an Alchemy app on one of the API keys that we generate for you. So if you go to the app, you can see important stats around the health of the request pipeline. For instance, you can see their median response time, you can see the success rate, and you can see the number of concurrent requests that have been coming through in the past hour. Below here, you can see a list of the most recent requests that you've made. So this is actually a good example. It seems like most of our requests are working, but some of our requests are bad. For instance, this get block request right here. So for any of these requests, you can look at the parameters that you're sending into the request, and then also the response from the node, whether it's successful or failing. We also have tabs here that lets you isolate either just invalid requests or throughput limited requests that you're sending through to our system, which currently this app does not have. So do you want more detailed insights into a failing request? For instance, to see how many similar failing requests have been happening in your app? There's no problem there. Just go here and click on Explore Similar and you'll hop on over to the Request Explorer. Here, you can slice and dice your requests according to any parameters that you're interested in to quickly isolate issues and debug them. For instance, you can search by the last hour, which will give you fewer requests, or you can search by successful requests, client error requests, or even the JSON RPC error code that is returned specifically from the node. Finally, if you see a problematic request and you want to immediately retry it, you can simply click here and go to retry. This will take you to our composer, which will automatically make the exact same request that you made before, but from the browser with zero setup. So it's fast and painless. And so if I just click send request here, you can go ahead and see that this request is now succeeding and you can go ahead and see the responses from a successful request here. And let's just remember, without these tools, you're gonna to be browsing through pages and pages and pages of inscrutable logs. It's a million times easier to identify trends using these tools. Here's another useful tool that we call the mempool watcher. So what if you need to debug pending transactions? If you've ever sent a blockchain transaction, you'll know it's not a straightforward process, right? Transactions don't just immediately get confirmed and written to the blockchain like in a database. Instead, they have to enter a waiting room that in Ethereum we call the mempool, where transactions are selected based on their gas fees to be included into a newly mined block, right? And so using our mempool watcher, what we do is we give you a window into the mempool. We can show you second by second updates of the status of transactions that you've sent to the blockchain. So this allows you to view mine transactions by clicking here, but you can also see pending transactions that haven't yet gone through and also failed transactions, uh, as well as specific details about each types of these requests. You can, click you can click into this transaction here, for instance, and you can see who this transaction was being sent from, who it was being sent to, the value sent in the transaction, and then perhaps some clues that will tell you why this particular transaction failed. Moving on. One of the biggest requests you guys have given us since Alchemy started was building out real-time alerting on the blockchain. Say you're building a tool to track whales trading on DeFi protocol, for instance. Before Notify, developers were making second-by-second -second calls to the blockchain and scanning every single transaction coming through to check if transactions involving those whales had received or sent anything. Instead of building that pipeline yourself, these days you can just set up a webhook in Alchemy to automatically send you a notification if any transactions involving a user occur. That's what this address activity webhook is here. Or you could set up a webhook to notify you if a transaction has been mined or it's been dropped. Or you could even set up a notification to tell you when the gas price for Ethereum or another network goes above or below a certain point. If you've ever tried to set up this type of real-time alerting system yourself, you'll know this feature is gonna save you hundreds and hundreds of hours of maintenance. So here's another insanely useful feature that we've launched. If you're a developer, you might have noticed that finding the NFTs associated with the user is so painful, right? NFTs adhere to all different types of standards. For instance, ERC-721, ERC-1155. And for the longest time, up until last year, the only way to find all the NFTs that a user owned was to search for every single NFT smart contract and look for your address in those NFT smart contracts. So it was really, really bad. One of our hottest new APIs as a result is our NFT API. 
Basically, it's a tool that helps you reverse look up the NFTs owned by a single address, among many other convenience API calls that make it a lot easier for you to browse the NFTs on a blockchain. So if you're building an NFT marketplace or any type of NFT wallet, you really need an API like this helping power you so you don't have to manually cache all these NFTs yourself, store them, and categorize them on your own database. Finally, there's one last piece of the puzzle. Alchemy isn't just building these features for Ethereum. As of last year, we've rebuilt our entire infrastructure from the ground up so that we can support any chain, L1 or L2, across the entire Web3 ecosystem. Today, we support eight different chains, including Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism. We support Starknet. We just recently started supporting Solana. And there's way more coming in the work, so keep an eye out. And in the end, Alchemy is here to help you be successful. You know where your DAP needs to be in the next five years. You've got a clear vision for what it means to be successful, but the path to get there is difficult, it's tricky, and it can take thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, right? And so Alchemy exists to help make that path just a little bit shorter and easier. If we can cut off hundreds and hundreds of hours of engineering time from your path, we'll have succeeded in our mission. And so we want to work together with you to help bring blockchain to the next billion users. That's our thesis, and that's what we can help out with. And if you need anything, just reach out to us at our Discord. We're at alchemy.com slash Discord. We're always happy to help, and we're always happy to give feedback about our products. Looking forward to working with you.